Hi, in this screencast we're going to learn how to do responsive web design using Flux4 and Gumby. So first, let's create a brand new project. Let's create an index.html to start with. The first thing you need to do is copy in the Gumby framework. I've downloaded it, so you'll simply copy in the framework folder. Let's rename this. Now open the index file. and we'll link in the Gumby import CSS file. As we can see, this will import all the required Gumby files. The first thing you need to do is to create an empty div and assign a class to it. The class must be called container as this class is defined by the Gumby framework. Keeping the container div selected, you will create another empty div. This time, the class must be role. Again, this is defined by the Gumby framework. Now, let's create another empty div. But this time, the class must be 12 columns. Again, this is defined by the Gumby framework and is dependent on using the 12 column version of Gumby. We will adjust the height so it's much more easy to see. Using the navigator, let's again select the container and create a brand new row. Again, this is simply done by creating an empty div and assigning the class row. It's very important that the class names are correct. Let's create a brand new div within the row, but instead of 12 columns, we will make it 5. So the class will be 5 columns. We can paste in some content and you can see how the text will flow within that area. By selecting the row again, we can create another empty div. This time, to fill the remaining area, it must be seven columns, as five columns plus seven columns equals the overall 12. Again, let's paste in some content. Perfect. We will change the background colour so then we can easily see where it flows to in a responsive design. Let's preview the page in Safari. There, looks like a normal web page, but the moment we resize Safari to be, say, the size of an iPhone screen, we can see how our design adapts. This is called responsive web design. So, by basing your next project on the Gumby grid, you can make sure it'll view perfectly on an iPhone, Android, or almost any other handheld. Thanks for watching.